what would happen if it's the end of the world and in order to be saved you had to marry someone and be on a show like The Bachelor. Wonder who would survive? Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, I'm Kyla Nadango and today we are talking about a fantastic book. It's like The Hunger Games meets The Bachelor. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're talking about the book, The Selection, which is written by Kiera Cass. The genre of the book is young adult fiction. The theme of the book is romance literature, okay? So I pick my books from online, right? I use the Libby app, I see something, the cover looks intriguing, download it. I saw this. She's in like a hall of mirrors. I was like, okay, I'll read that. Obsessed, obsessed. And now I know, you're like, uh, you've never read this, this book looks perfect. That's because I loved it so much that I bought the entire box set. <laughs> loved it you hear me so let's talk about my favorite thing in the book the selection okay so this is a story all about 35 girls who are trying to win the eye of one prince prince maxon the 35 girls you get to move up in ranks from one being a part of the selection which is the group of the 35 girls that come to prince maxon and then also if you get to be like in the top five you get a different scale like you'll never drop back below a three my favorite part of the book is when america gets jealous of the other girls okay now you gotta hear me out yes they all want to be there and they all want to win right there's a whole bunch of different reasons why you want to win america talks to one girl and she's like well you're from new asia so you want to win so that you guys can improve your political relations with your region and with the region where prince maxon is so there's that and then you have other people that just are like well i'm a two and i want to be a one just so that i can have the privileges and all the food and all the rations and all that stuff but like America is like, how did I get chosen? I don't want to do this. I'm already in love with somebody. I want to be with that person. This is silly, but she starts to fall for Maxon, right? And I think that's so telling because she thought she had her life planned out. I'm a five, I'm gonna get with him. You know what I mean? Like she's saving food to give to her guy because she knows that he's working so hard to take care of his family and his siblings. And she was so used to like providing for him and so now she gets to this big palace they're scrubbing her clean they're putting her in these gowns and she's like she's a fish out of water just like your girl in the hunger games and but she gets used to it eventually but she never anticipates that she is going to get jealous of the other girls and that part is so important because she's starting to show that she has emotions and feelings for maxim at first it's just like well as long as i'm here they're sending larger food rations to my family so that's a benefit but then she's like wait you were with who for their birthday? Wait, you kissed who? Wait, you did what? What? She really starts to get jealous. And that's when it's like, okay, for one, she was judging everyone in the royal family. She definitely was judging Maxon and his parents. Two, she starts to realize that they are more than skin deep, right? They are an actual family. They have issues and problems and drama just like every other family. So that was a big deal. And then three, she has to rearrange what she thought her life was gonna be, right? She's like, okay, it's gonna be me, my guy, I've been a singer, my whole family, they're artists, this is what we do. Wait, now I'm in the selection? Wait, what's gonna happen afterwards? Wait, what? Everything has to change and evolve. And that is very relevant for me. <laughs> I've been changing and evolving for the last three or four years. You know, I stopped working in big law, decided to work for someone else, and then I started to do consulting, and then I started to really ramp up my podcasting and then teach others how to podcast. So I've been evolving, I've been changing. I thought things were gonna go this way. I was gonna have one child, and then immediately after I was gonna have another. I couldn't believe it was a young adult book. I mean, it is extremely PG-13, right? Like you get some kisses, but you don't get to like hot and heavy stuff because it's a young adult book. And even in the future books, when she gets married and they have their own child, right, you don't get any of the sex scenes because it's a young adult book. Like, save that for their own imagination or whatever kids are doing. <laughs> but I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, Kira Cass is a great author. And since reading and becoming obsessed with this series, I've actually started to read some other books by Kira Cass as well. All right. So if you are all about finding love, being happy, being in love, you should really check out this book review here, which is all about your one true loves. Plural, what happens if the love of your life finds you twice? What happens? What happens, all right? 
So I will see you in the next video. Bye.